Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dragos and you're watching Romania Dual Sport. Two weeks ago I just returned from uh, my annual ride with my friends. Uh, we were doing TET Romania Section 3. Uh, I'm working on the video series uh, I'm just editing now and uh, the series will come. So you will see our adventure and I did it with the BMW. It was absolutely fantastic, but all of that you will see in the series that uh, will come on the channel. But today I wanted to speak to you about something that I felt during this trip that I needed more. Uh, it was doing okay, it was fine, but I felt that I needed more. And this is the, na I'm speaking about the navigation. So you know very well that I'm using the Garmin Zumo XT for my BMW and my uh, Honda. But this time, uh, which was absolutely fine, absolutely perfect, um, no big problems with, uh, with the navigation, with the Zumo XT. But I'm, since I'm a little bit of a geek and I really like the electronics and uh, all that um, uh, technology can uh, bring to us, I just felt I needed a little bit more information from, uh, from my system. So for this reason, I decided to upgrade a little bit because in my mind and uh, from what I saw uh, on the internet, this is really a really good upgrade. Uh, I decided to upgrade my system and I bought this. I bought the Carpe Eater tablet. So this is a fantastic system. I've never seen something that comes even closer to it. So for today, because I haven't seen on the internet many videos about installing the Carpe Eater tablet on the BMW, especially, uh, specifically the BMW R1250 GS adventure that I have, I decided to make this video and to show you guys how to install it on the motorcycle. After that, this is just the installing video and then going through the systems and to tweak uh, the software and to show you the vast possibilities and uh, information that you have using this tablet. One friend, one special friend will come and help me. He will be here in Romania on the 10th, 10th of August. So we will do this uh, tweaking together. Uh, but for today, just the installation video. So when you receive your tablet, uh, you receive, of course, the unit itself, and it looks like this. It's quite a big unit, and it has some uh, special uh, adapters and uh, input things that you can put on it, but all of that later when we make the explanation about this uh, hardware that we're going to install. But this is the tablet. It comes with a very, very nice um, bag, and then with it, you receive the hardware that you need to install on your motorcycle. This is the holder. It's a special holder. It's a lockable holder. So you can lock it with a key and leave your tablet on your motorcycle. It's a metallic one and it has this uh, rubber uh, grommets that keeps it for, protects it from vibrations. And separately sold for the BMW of course, for many motorcycles, but especially for the BMW that it uses a 12 millimeter GPS mounting rod. You need to buy this. This is the short lever. And inside in the hardware, it comes with these two metallic plates, which is which are very, very easy to install. We are speaking about four bolts, four screws, and then one screw that connects the holder to the plate. For the moment, I've just uh, installed it loose so that I, can, that I can play with it a little bit. The holder itself has one cable going away from it, okay? And this cable divides into two. One, this is the one, it goes to the battery and it has the labels plus or positive terminal and minus or negative terminal. And this is the secondary input for the tablet. This is the secondary uh, charging uh, port for the motorcycle, for the tablet, sorry. Basically, all you have to do, or all we have to do, 
owners of the BMWs is to connect this to the battery. But I will not do that. I will not connect it directly to the battery because I have another accessory which I will use for the tablet that will go directly to the battery. For this one, I have this connector. I will put one picture on the, on the screen for you to see which type of connector I use. This is a special BMW connector that goes directly into the wiring harness of the motorcycle so you don't have to strip anything, you don't have to do uh, anything else just to connect this one to the plus and minus of the tablet, of the holder, okay? This one is, uh, it's, uh, it has three wires. We only gonna need two, the positive and negative. And for this one, it is right, uh, routed one, two, and three. One is the negative terminal, two is not used, and three is the positive terminal, okay? So in order to convert these wires to connect it to these father connectors, we are of course going to use some small hardware. And what I have here, I have some thermo, thermo, thermic or thermo shrinking tubes, which I'm going to use to protect the wires from the heat. And I have some mother connectors. Okay, these are the connectors that I'm going to install on these wires and after that this will go to the negative and the positive of the tablet holder okay that's it what else we are going to need for our installing so i highly recommend to you when you buy this system or when you decide to buy the system to buy also this this is called adventure controller and it has this joysticks joystick sorry plus minus button for zoom in and zoom out i assume i've never worked with it but uh, my friend told me that is completely custom uh, it is completely programmable so it has three button plus minus and an enter button this one will go on the handlebar but because the wiring is not that long I bought from the Torque system, uh, the same company that sold the tablet, has this extension cable with a, with a safety. So I will connect this extension cable bought from their website to my controller and then connect it directly to the battery. It is safe because it has this safety and it is only a uh, small consumption. The controller doesn't take uh, too much power from your battery. It doesn't drain your battery. So that's why I chose not to connect the tablet itself, uh, the holder of the tablet itself to the battery directly, but to the wi uh, wiring harness of the motorcycle. In this way, uh, you will have power when you will push the uh, on button. And after that, the, the system will cut the power and the tablet will uh, shut down. So let's prepare for the installation. I will prepare firstly the, the small yellow plug that will go directly into the motorcycle harness. And after that, we will begin to strip the motorcycle. For this installation, our uh, plug, our OEM plug is on the right side of the motorcycle when standing on the motorcycle. So for this, you will need to take down the winglet. You will need to take down uh, this, um, this, um, protection okay it is very easy it's just one two bolts loose and then you're gonna uh, we're gonna take it down and then you will have we will have the right side of the beak and then this plastic part they will come off easy it is not a very very complicated installation but we really need to strip a little bit the motorcycle down to reach the cable and to reach the connector that we are going to use Okay, so first I'm gonna strip the wires of the connector. So remember, wire zero one. Okay, 
I'm gonna use the knife because they are small diameter wire and wire which is numbered 03 okay 02 and 03 okay because the wire is the negative and 3 is the positive okay so I've stripped a little bit like uh, 2 centimeters just to have nice wide base for it for my connector I'm gonna fold it like this to have a really nice and strong connection point for my mother connector okay okay very nice I'm gonna cut it just perfectly so that we have nothing outside so we don't have wire leads outside the connector okay and then I'm gonna insert my connector here good you see there is nothing outside the connector no wires very good now it is very snug remember the number two it is not used so i will use uh, a tape to put it here and my cable looks like this and is ready to be connected with the wiring system of the tablet of the holder so is this so we have the positive, which goes into three, number three. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have the negative or the ground, which goes into number one. Okay, this one will return to the holder and into the tablet, but all about that when we finish to install the wiring harness. So now we're gonna go and strip down the motorcycle. Yeah, so next I'm gonna remove the panels of the BMW. Uh, that means the upper panel, the middle panel, uh, the, this winglet, and of course the uh, windscreen. But uh, because this video is about the tablet and installing the tablet, I'm not going to show you how to remove it. But there is a channel called a bike thing. And there he has a video called stripping down a BMW screw by screw. There is all the information more than enough there to, to follow and to see how you remove the panels of the BMW. So let's get on to it. We need to remove the existing GPS, OEM GPS uh, bracket. And for that, we're gonna have we need to have access inside here. Okay, so I'm gonna strip it down and take back the video from there. Okay, I've dismantled the original GPS mount. It's very simple, just four screws. And then I went down the wire and just cut the the plastic retainers. Okay, and the wire comes to this. So this is the original plug for the GPS mount. In here, we are going to plug our white uh, cable that we prepared before. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and remove this. And then I'm going to show you step by step how to continue the installation. Okay, so I have plugged the cable right there. And then this cable goes, of course, into the unit's small controller that we need to stick. Now let's switch on the bike to see if it is charging. Actually, now, as you can see, it's on the battery. So if I press the starting button, okay, nothing will happen because the unit is set up to start when it senses 14 volts. That means the charging volt, that means the motor must run okay so let's start the bike okay let me do it with one hand 
Okay. Let's see. Yes, now we have a green light for the controller. And the charging of the tablet. So yeah, it's working. As you see, charging. Okay, control is okay. Now, not charging anymore. Okay, it's on its own battery, so it won't drain your battery if you leave it on. Now, it's just a matter of tidying these cables up and then to install this on the road here. It's uh, not very, very difficult. So it's just about tidying everything up. I will not go to the battery yet because for the battery I need uh, the controller. Okay, so the controller will go to the battery. For this reason, I needed to strip down a little bit the bike, the plastics on the bike, so I have a lot of space to see and to play and to properly route the cables. Okay, so, okay, I'll, I will film again when I'll have this carpet eater up on the road. Okay, right? Okay, so now the lady is mounted. Okay. As I said, you just have to connect this rod here. As you can see, if I turn the handlebar all the way around, I'm not touching anywhere. So everything is all right. Of course, this, I don't tighten this one uh, all the way because I need to set, to be able to set my tablet for when I'm standing or for when I'm uh, sitting. Okay, now I'm just gonna have to root from the inside, the nice cables here and here and down there, basically on the old route and just have to tidy this whole installation inside and come back with the secondary auxiliary power source for the tablet which will go here okay so I will do that and show you the final result and then we're gonna install the controller I have finished tidying up the motorcycle and all the panels are back the tablet is installed and it looks like this let me show you so I have reinstalled First of all, this panel, the upper gas tank panel, this panel, yes, the small cover, and uh, I have unclipped here the lower panel just to be able to route the cable from the controller to the battery. I did not show you the installation because it's very, very straightforward, very simple, as you saw. This controller has only positive and negative terminals and from here I've routed the cable underneath and to the handlebar and underneath the gas tank up until the battery. You just have to take off the battery cover and connect it. Uh, I have used the extension cable uh, from Torque Racing so you can buy it from them. Uh, yeah, the tablet looks like that. Okay, it's not obstructing my vision when I'm looking to the display of the motorcycle. It's not obstructing my vision when I'm looking above the windshield. So it looks like that. It's only one cable from it, which is connected to the wiring harness of the motorcycle via the cable, the white cable uh, that I just showed to you earlier. It's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, yeah, and it looks like that. Okay. Normally I will connect this one uh, when I'm riding. This is the auxiliary uh, power input. Mm, 
I don't know why they have it. Maybe if something happens with the pins, uh, because the tablet is charging through the pins, you have the secondary um, waterproof, completely waterproof auxiliary um, uh, power input. Everything is back, the seat is back. The only room that I found uh, for the BMW was here on the right side. It's a little bit inconvenient because you have to let go on your uh, uh, throttle. But anyway, it's safer because it forces you to stop and to mess around with the tablet. Because here is almost impossible to do it. I have no space here to reach it with the, with the hand. It's the wonder wheel and there is no space here. So that's why I chose the right side very simple installation very nice system and uh, for the software uh, tweaking and installing and updating plus the controller uh, startup and install i will be getting help from my special friend who will come in a few days so it will we will have a different video about it and uh, we will try to present to you the benefits of having this type of system on your motorcycle and we will install it together the controller and the tablet until next time ride safe and enjoy the rest of the season uh, here in romania ciao